Oh, I'm so sorry. This is like the third time I've tried to film this and my iPod keeps messing up. And it's so annoying. But let's get on with it. I can do this. Um, I'm just taking the opportunity because tomorrow I start back at school and using this free time to make a video and I will get it done. So, the question I'm answering today is do I miss me? And I feel like it's quite a um, commonly asked one because it's all, it sounds really strange to meat eaters that someone can just cut it out completely because like, I know people who eat it like three servings of meat a day like they eat some with breakfast some bacon and they eat some chicken for lunch and then for tea they have sausages or whatever and then there's me that's not had it in four days off a year <laughs> but um basically no <laughs> simple as um i don't miss it at all anymore at first i found it a bit strange to not eat it and in restaurants and stuff it was a bit weird like having to properly look throughout the uh, menu to find something i could eat not just something that i liked and but yeah i just i guess i've got used to it and now that i know what sorry that's my cat moving <laughs> now that i know what goes on and like i know that it's humane slaughter isn't a thing and yeah i'd never go back like i don't think i could like without a personality transplant um or being forced to i well yeah but yeah i don't think i could ever eat it again i'd have to change a hell of a lot um to change because I don't know, the thought of it just disgusts me now, and I mean, this isn't me hating on you if you do eat it now, but just personally, I could never do it again. And like, it's to the extent of um, a couple of, like a week ago, um, in Holland and Barrett, I found that there was these vegan chicken dippers or chicken nuggets, something like that. And then I had them about four days ago, three, four days ago. Um, they were so similar to like the meat version I, I had to double check like I was like this isn't meat is it but it wasn't um but they were so similar that it made me feel sick eating them and I had to force myself to finish them because like I don't know most substitutes like they're not disgusting but they're not really the same and like them chicken nuggets they were really similar um it was weird like the texture the taste and like the i don't know i said i didn't i can't really remember what it tastes like but that's how i'd imagine it to taste and then um, the texture the taste and the color as well like corn it's more whitey the chicken but that was like a bit off color which is what chicken kind of normally is and it, i don't know it was just weird but yeah but then i get onto the vegan bit so do i miss um words <laughs> words have just left me dairy eggs and honey well honey honey is easy to substitute unless it's in something like a cereal which is annoying um if you want like honey on pancakes well you can just use agave syrup instead and it's not that expensive i don't think i get that from holland and barrett um, you get loads of points back as well at Holland and Barrett. So you, it's like, it looks expensive at first, but then it really isn't when you get all the points back. Um, but yeah, I use that and it's like the same agave syrup is. It's just a bit runnier. And I, I joked to my grandma the other week, I said, it's basically just honey, but it's not been sicked up by a bee. I think it's this if you're done. Yeah, it's, yeah, because it's the nectar and it's like just without, um, without it being gone through a bee <laughs> i mean it's not too bad really is it um so that's honey and then the dairy and eggs well i don't know i find it a bit different because like the thought of the products and the thought of what the animals go through to get the products that sickens me that one that kind of disgusts me quote why i'm vegan <laughs> but um i don't know like 
really the only thing I miss, because like, I would say ice cream, but I found this amazing vegan ice cream that's in Asda, and it's so nice, and it's kind of expensive, but it's so nice, like, it's one of the best ice creams I've ever had. The only way it could be better is if it was um, chocolate and not vanilla. That's the only improvement. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, the only thing, I've lost my train of thought, but I'll just continue where I thought I was. Um, the only thing I miss that has um, milk and eggs in it has got to be corn. Because corn is like a really nice um, meat substitute. And loads of people think that corn's disgusting. Honestly, it isn't. Like, if you want to just be vegetarian and start out that first, don't be afraid to try it, because, like, it's really nice. I mean, I didn't like the mince and the beef burgers, but I've never liked beef stuff. I've only ever really liked sausage and chicken and sometimes gammon, but I don't think there's a gammon one. Um, and it's like, it's, yeah. I, I yeah, so I, I don't miss meat, but I miss the meat substitute, because... They've got dairy and eggs in them, which, dairy, yeah, dairy and eggs, which obviously makes it not vegan, which is so annoying. And honestly, I wish corn would get themselves together and, like, change their recipe or something and keep it so it's, like, that tasty, but vegan. Because, like, even if they just use, like, them egg substitute things and then some soya milk instead, because, like... I don't know, in like comparison, if you took away the vegan stuff and the vegetarian, I prefer corn much over Linda McCartney stuff, but Linda McCartney is the one that's vegan, so I have to have that one and not the corn, and it's just annoying, and like with corn, they've um, they've got loads more like variety to choose from, like they had ham and chicken nuggets, chicken dippers, um, chicken pieces, chicken fillets, sausages, and then Linda McCartney, at least in my local like, shops, they've only got sausages and sausage rolls. And the sausage rolls aren't, they're alright, but they're not that nice. And they're high in fat as well. The, the, the um, sausages aren't, but the sausage rolls are really high in fat, probably because of the pastry. But I don't know, high fat things, um, my body prefers me on a high carb, low fat. Thing, but I don't like strictly go by it. I just kind of use it as a general thing. But yeah, I don't know. If Quan, if anyone from Quan is watching this, which I doubt they will, please <laughs> just change your recipe and make it vegan. Cause like you definitely, if you do, you've got to buy it here. I will like go down to the shop and I will buy all of them, like ones that I like which is like seven of them <laughs> and you've got another customer back and yeah and it's just annoying as well because like corn's been more advertised recently and like it's only vegetarian it's not vegan it's like it could be more helpful to the animals if it was vegan but yeah I don't know I'm rambling a bit now I better finish so um yeah thanks for watching I keep forgetting to say um if you like my videos or you're interested, interested in me.